here we go once again. It's a late night, uh, 10 p.m. something on Friday. And so tell us who you are and what you've built here. Uh, my name is Sohail Ahmed. Um, I've built a four pole um, voltage control filter um, where the resistor values are controlled by four Bactrols. And the, the resistance of the Bactrols are controlled by the voltage of two sources of voltage, either from a 15 volt rail. Mm -hmm. And with a front panel pot. With a front panel pot or a control voltage um, input, which is also can be controlled by a pot. Yep. So let's, let's take a look here. We've got a uh, sawtooth going in. And this is, oh, this is at max resonance. Actually, let me turn down the resonance first. Then so we'll listen to uh, your standard uh, four-pole filter on a sawtooth. So that's fairly typical behavior. Um, that's me adjusting it by hand. Or we could put in a adjustable amount of uh, external CV that is usual we're getting from a uh, MO. TM LFO. You know what, I should probably just make something with just this LFO because it's such a useful testing thing rather than carrying the rest of this around. Um, and so, let's see. Uh, we can also crank up the resonance here. The resonance pot is a little scratchy. So let me turn up. There, there's this effect with four pole filters where when you adjust the feedback, you kind of lose volume. But that's more of a typical nasally synth sound. So let's turn that down. So there's a, or we could do a little bit of both. We can, let's put this in the middle. And then we can change how much influence we have here. The CV, and I can twist this all the way up to the top with the offset. So it's a lot in this uh, high frequency re um, cutoff region. You can twist that all the way down or somewhere in between. So this is some other waveforms. Here's a square wave. Again, let's uh, manually sweep that. This is with high resonance. And here's with uh, low resonance. Let me turn the resonance down. So this is uh, low resonance. And here you can see the uh, typical filter waveform. It's um, it's, it's louder here, so it's taking up most of the scope. Uh, as you might guess, what's on top is the usual um, input. Um, and just to show that it is doing a filtery thing, here's a sine wave. So as we increase, oh, that's with the, uh, yeah, so okay, as we turn it, Okay, there we go. What I had was... That was just a pot. Scratchy. So there's not... Sine wave going in. And as I increase the voltage here... So if I turn this down now... There we go. Okay, we should be able to show that this is acting as a low-pass filter. So as I decrease it, you can see the volume going up. Okay, that's good. Let's see if I can actually track where a resonance bump is. Crank the resonance. Hmm, that seems not to be doing what I was wanting it to do, but... Okay, enough sine waves. I'm not quite getting it lined up exactly to do what I want to demonstrate. But anyway, it's cool. Um, again, it's late at night, so this is not... Oh, we can put a noise. Okay, that's not very interesting. Cranking resonance. And as we should do with every filter, let's crank up the uh, modulation rate. Mm, 
I think my sample and hold module is broken, which makes me sad. But we'll talk about that another day. Did you use this? Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's using square modulation input now. And here's that triangle wave again. I also tell the people watching from home that I'm very sick right now and surviving lots of cold medicines and hopefully not getting the entire class cell. Um, I should also mention the, uh, the control circuitry for this um, is adapted from uh, the Bukla 227 control circuitry, although we found out there's uh, some things in there that we didn't actually need, so we pulled out some resistors and stuff. And um, Okay, I think that's it. Anything else that we forgot about? It makes neat noise. It's pretty messy. It's going to be cleaned up on a board soon. Okay, sounds good. So say bye-bye.